the past is a kaleidoscope of events that has taken place in your life. Promises, failures, victories, disappointments, all that, the regrets, the past is like a summary of all that. Hallelujah. But oftentimes, the painful ones, they are difficult to let go. We easily forget the good ones, but the regrets, the failures, the disappointment, usually, it's not easy to forget about them. Why? Because they leave scars on our hearts. So anytime you, you, you look on the scars, or you, the, the scars remind you of what you went through. So our past, our painful event, past painful events, the disappointment, the hurt, and all that we go through can get scars in our hearts and can become a stronghold in our lives. And until you deal with it, you cannot move on in life. Many people are still where they are. They have not moving. With all the anointing, with the grace, with the prayer, everything. Yes. They are still where they are. They are not moving because they are not letting go what took place in the past. They are new things. They are fresh things. They are things, greater things that God has for you. God has planned for your life. He said, I know the plans that I towards you. They are not evil, but they are good to give you a future which is expected and you have a great future and you are still lamenting and mourning and 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 and, and, the, and the crying over the regrets of the past and the mistakes of the past meanwhile there are cities that are waiting there are giants that are waiting for you to arrive the world is endlessly waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God the children of God the word is waiting for you there is an anointing on your life there is grace on your life there is talent on your life that your generation is looking for and you are sitting here crying over what took place in the past by reason of the anointing hey who is the anointing the anointing is Christ uh, who lives in you he said uh, on that day you break his yoke of your life you will lift his burden of thy shoulder when the anointing comes uh, who is the anointed Jesus Christ uh, the anointed one of God who has been sent for this reason the son of man was manifested to destroy the work of evil ah, so mama, 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 uh, Christ lives in you the work of evil cannot control you I don't care how powerful the witches and the wizards uh, the principalities and the strongholds, uh, the warlords uh, the, the two men uh, and the powerful men in your family I don't care how powerful they are. I have somebody who is greater, who is supreme, who is all powerful. He lives in me. He lives in me. He dwells in me. He is with me. Therefore, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me, I condemn. For this is my inheritance in Christ Jesus. He that dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Lord God Almighty. He will Say of the Lord, uh, He is my footprint. In Him will I trust. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I preaching to somebody here? Yeah? Am I speaking to somebody here? Yeah? You cannot remain where you are. You cannot become what the enemy says you are. You cannot become a victim of the opinions of men because that is not the plan of God for your life. God has a better plan for you. The anointing is on your life. <laughs> 